Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to go to a country that I've not personally been to before and that country is Italy and I have here an Italian 24 hour ration. This particular one is a module D. It's one and a half years out of date so it'll be interesting to see how the contents have stood up. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. Now, as you can see, I have here on the table this very large Italian 24-hour ration. Now, this particular one, I don't know if you can see that, was actually produced in 2016 and it expired in 2018. So it's about one and a half years out of date. This particular one is the Module D and if we turn it over, it does actually give a list of the contents in Italian, English and French. But we won't look at those right now. It comes in a very sturdy foil pack um, vacuum sealed. So let's bring in a trusty knife and just open this across the top and see what this pack actually contains. Now, this is the first Italian ration I've had personally. I do believe they come in separate boxes. So, this one is the breakfast. This particular one is the lunch. And right at the bottom must be the supper or evening meal so I'll just move the pack to one side and we'll try and get those in order so breakfast lunch and supper try and make sure I fit them in there so let's have a look what these boxes actually contain so I'm going to start off here with the breakfast of the module D and as you can see it's a very simple cardboard box We'll just open these up and straight off the top we have it looks like some paper rubbish bags or trash bags hopefully I can get all these in when I open them up we have a spoon and a napkin there is three toothbrushes and a little tube of toothpaste so very keen on keeping the Troops teeth clean. We have, I think, is some sweet biscuits. And this must be the cappuccino. I'm not sure if they are the fuel tablets. They might be the fuel tablets, or there might be some um, vitamin tablets. I'll actually have a look at those in translation. We have six fuel tablets, so they must be a vitamin type pill. There is a nice little folding stove for the fuel tabs. We have some chocolate. Two peach jams. So I'm struggling to fit all of these in. There is a what I think is a tea. There's a little box of red tip matches. And there's a pack of sugar. Little packet of salt. And one, two, struggle getting those out, three, toothpicks so that was the breakfast so quite a large amount of food there for the breakfast now let's move on to the lunch of this module so again nice easy open box and for lunch very similar start we have a fork spoon and a napkin Again, there are some 
crackers. I think that is a tin of mixed fruit or fruit cocktail. We have some either vitamin pills or bran tablets. I shall check which ones actually are. We have a second pack of crackers or biscuits. There is some energy mix, so I think they're energy tablets. Some energy tablets. I think this is a can of tuna. Some canned tuna. And last but not least, oh no, still a couple more. We have some ravioli. Very impressive looking amount of foodstuffs. And we have an instant coffee and a sugar. So that was the lunch component. Let's move that to one side, running out of space. And we'll have a look at the supper or evening meal. So the last and final box. And again, it starts off with a knife, fork, spoon and a napkin. We have some more crackers, feeling quite crushed and damaged. And this is a fruit energy bar. There is a tin of what I think is minestrone soup. There is a tin of beef in jelly, meat in jelly. There is a second energy bar. Another coffee and another sugar. So, between the three meals, a very large, very impressive set of contents on this 24 hour Module D Italian ration. So let's get what I would consider, or the pack has actually told me, is breakfast out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. So, as you can see, I now have the breakfast component of this Italian ration laid out on a tray. Now, most of the contents of this breakfast box do seem to be extra sundries like trash bags, uh, toothbrushes, they are actually water purification tablets and the stove that you need for the day. So, there wasn't a lot left for the actual meal. So, within the actual meal itself, there was just the sweet biscuits, some chocolate, some peach jam, a cappuccino and a lemon tea. So let's start where I normally like to start and that is with the beverages. I'm going to need one of the spoons so we'll have a look at this little spoon and single napkin that came for the breakfast. So very simplistic flimsy cheap plastic spoon and a pair of napkins. So I'll just put those to one side for now and We'll start by taking a look at the cappuccino. So it looks like a standard sort of cappuccino mix. Um, be interesting to see if it's actually sugared. There's quite a large pack of sugar there. So we'll just add that to the coffee pot, to the cup. And it's a sort of in standard sort of cappuccino style mixed coffee. And using that spoon and some water I have boiled here. We'll just give this oh, about half a mug, half a mug, depending on your sort of personal taste, I think, I call these things. Rinse that spoon. And then I think what we'll do next is we'll take a look at the lemon tea. There was two hot beverages in this breakfast, no cold drinks. I suppose you could make this lemon tea cold. Um, just have a read of instructions there. It doesn't say hot or cold, but I'm sure you could. It looks a little bit clumpy, but we'll add hot water again, make a lemon tea. And again, about half a cup. It's usually good for these things. and the actual breakfast components is just some 
sweet biscuits. So let's see how this opens. I think I'm going to need to bring in my very old trusty knife now just to help open those. Now they are looking a little bit damaged, a little bit broken. Actually they're looking quite damaged and broken. I would have thought being in the box it would have had a bit more protection than this. They're actually quite quite smashed there. So I think that will do. There's, a, there's enough there to be trying. And she'll open the chocolate. So a nice little chocolate bar there. So it looks like it's a very sweet breakfast again. Now this is bloomed quite badly, if you can see, there's quite a lot of bloom in there, but as we know, that's not necessarily an indicator of the quality. There is two packs of the peach jam. Um, for this demonstration, I shall only open the one. They are both identical. So let's just peel that back. And again, it's a standard looking peach style jam there. And all that's left is the sugar. I don't know if I need any of that yet. Let's have a taste with my coffees. Oops. So we'll have a look at the cappuccino first. Looks like it's quite milky. Um, I can't see the frothy top you normally associate with a cappuccino. This is just a white coffee. Hmm. Well, that's quite a quite a bland, weak, poor quality, poor quality coffee, milky coffee. Um, I probably put too much water in there. I will add a little bit of sugar. It does need a little something to help lift it. This looks more like a two-in-one coffee rather than a cappuccino. Even with the sugar, that's a very poor, very, very poor instant coffee drink. I think, to be honest, that's one of the worst coffees I've had out of any ration at the moment. It's a very, very poor, very poor quality coffee. Let's have a look at this lemon tea. Mm. There's a strong smell of lemon in there. Again, not overly sweet. I'm going to add a little bit of the sugar. It's quite, quite citric with that lemon. Citric acid in there. It'll just, uh, mm, that has improved it slightly. It's very reminiscent of a cold remedy we have here in the UK um, called Lem Sips. They are lemon and water and paracetamol and a few other things that you have with, typically when you have a cold and flu. Those from the UK will know what I mean by that. It tastes very similar to that. For those that um, are not so sure what they are, it is a tea with. Um, a very pronounced citric lemon aftertone. So let's look at these biscuits as we can see they're quite badly smashed but it looks like they were all in one piece at one point with a little break tab there to snap them but that's already seemed to have gone. We should just nice snapping sound. Very crispy, very very light there's very little flavour to them. They seem just like they are a, a white wheat flour cracker. It's called a sweet biscuit, but there is no sweetness that I can tell. Or oh, it's very, very mild. Very light. They, you can see the backs there. They're quite aerated. It gives you an indication of how light they are. So, obviously designed to go on with some of the, the jam. So a little bit of the peach jam there. Nice soft consistency. Good taste of peach. You can actually tell it is a peach jam. Sometimes these are just sort of a fruit flavoured jam, but this actually does taste of peach. Let's try a little bit as I'm sure it's meant to be on the cracker there. So it's a jam and cracker breakfast. Overall, 
the crackers don't do anything for the jam or vice versa the jam don't do a lot to improve the cracker it is just a very light crisp flavor flavorless cracker really and all you've got is a bit of taste of the jam on the top there not the most exciting breakfast I've eaten I must admit not the most filling it's quite light it's quite delicate we'll have a look at this chocolate which is bloomed so it looks like it's a milk style chocolate when you break it it isn't dark it's that sort of color all the way through we'll taste there mm. it's quite powdery turns into a powder on your t in your mouth rather than melts and coats your tongue like a quality chocolate you don't get the impression this is a quality chocolate I like the biscuits like the tea like the coffee I think there's very little cocoa content in there so again it is a chocolate but a very poor quality chocolate there so that's it brief recap the coffee white coffee certainly not a quality coffee it's quite flavorless um, one of the worst coffees I've had out of any ration, unfortunately. It's a warm drink. That's all I can really say about that, and I can't even say it's enjoyable. The lemon tea, it is a lemon-flavoured hot drink. Again, not over-inspiring, just a standard lemon flavour. The crackers are light, um, crisp but again very little flavor they are so light they don't seem to have any salt or very little sugar um, again not a good cracker by my own opinion the chocolate is very poor in quality it's bloomed it seems to be the color all the way through it doesn't seem like there's much in the way of cocoa in there um, again a very poor low grade chocolate probably the best item in here is the jam it's soft set, it's not overly set, does contain peach, you can taste the flavour of peach. Overall, a half decent, semi decent quality jam. So, overall, a very disappointing introduction to this Italian Module D ration. The breakfast, um, all the items have the indication of being very cheap, very low standard, very low quality but it would sustain you if this is all you had so i'm going to leave it here please join me for part two in another video where i'm going to take a look at their lunch and dinner but for now thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you and goodbye